Now, listen, you guys, it seems like Joel Biden was out there impressed by Nicki Minaj. Now, we're going to be talking about this and uh, we're going to be talking about a bunch of other celebrities, including, um, you know, tennis stars, tennis players. And these are some of the things that we will be talking about in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great. You guys, I am doing extremely amazing. And uh, without further ado let us dive straight into today's team so first of all you guys we are going to talk about joe Biden. okay it does seem like joe Biden was largely impressed by Nicki minaj when he went to gag city um in brooklyn so first of all i actually wanted to cover this entire situation but then you know there's been drama all over in the streets so what actually started is joe Biden initially on his podcast set on there and was basically giving Nicki minaj a flower when it comes you know to selling arenas and stuff like that and Nicki Minaj sort of corrected them and said that listen um I'm actually on my I think that what that time she was on a 16th sold out um in a show for the tour and uh, it does seem like that very particular night Joe Biden decided to actually do go to um you know to Gag City and when he went there you know pictures were circulating around of him uh sitting at the stadium enjoying and stuff like that and it does seem like it really Really was impressed like even his co-host you guys literally this guy said that well he's not that much of a fan but um, you know he doesn't really listen to you know to Nicki Minaj like that but it didn't stop him from appreciating the true support that he saw um you know in the stadium they were even talking about how even before Nicki Minaj steps out Booth is out there doing his thing you know playing you know some Nicki Minaj songs and it's literally 20,000 people screaming on top of their voices like literally um you know just singing you know Nicki Minaj songs word for word you can tell that these guys literally had a great time and they literally were able to see uh, that amount of greatness firsthand okay and i love to see that the world is finally coming to an understanding that let's uh, listen the internet and both those things are not real okay people will gas you up on the internet but then on real life in real life they will not show up and people may be trolling you on the internet but in real life the people who truly love you and care about you will show out and show up for you and this is exactly the relationship between Nicki Minaj and the Bubs and I find it really interesting that a lot of time you know people are like oh my goodness it's so boring it's so this it's so that and I think Nicki Minaj understood the formula that it is not about the GP because not everyone is actually going to be your fan and she's okay with it because you see her you know oftentimes saying that oh well I'm doing it for the Bubs and as long as the Bubs love whatever it is she's doing trust me she will keep doing it because she understands that listen if someone makes up their mind to hate you, they will hate you regardless of how nice you have done them, okay? So I'm just going to quickly insert a snippet of Joe Biden and of course his co-host talking about their experience at Gig City, Brooklyn, okay? I had a good time. Yo, nice. I bet you did. Nick, like Nicky, no, no, no. As, and, yeah, Nicki Minaj looks fucking no, phenomenal. Nicki, Wait a second I, now. I just want to say this. I really came up to say this. I'm not the person who knows a catalog like that. I don't listen to it on a regular basis. But being there, seeing the crowd, seeing her, seeing, I have a new appreciation for what she's done. Shout what she did. Like, Shout it's different. It, like you said, there's certain people that pander to a certain thing. Everyone in that crowd was there because they really fuck with her. And she delivers what she needs to deliver to them. Like, I have a whole new appreciation for her as an artist. Like, it's one thing to hear the music and hear the album, mm -hmm. but then when you see someone get you on see stage, you see mm -hmm. it. Yeah. and that connection that they have with their audience, Yo, dog, amazing. before she even get on stage, Booth is up there playing Come all crazy. the Nicki records that she's not gonna perform. Mm -hmm. So he do his DJ shit. Oh, y'all don't know the words to this. Y'all don't know the words to this one. They go crazy. Nigga, the word for word. 20,000 people in pink wigs <laughs> now start <laughs> rap rapping every fucking... Shout out to Nikki, man. Uh, she, uh, nah, Nikki, she Nikki, Nikki, man. Nikki deserves Four, five, every sold out single shows bit. Back to back in New York is hard to do. No, man. Nikki looks. Nah. Nikki looks. I never looked at her like that. With respect, with respect, of course. Yeah, that's peace. Nikki looked. Now she had a glow. Great. She, 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 she had a glow up there. Skinny tits, titty in, <clears throat> ass, ass in, tiny, tiny, tiny up there. Emceeing. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Emceeing. Breath control. Hear my words choreography up there the the pictures on that fucking screen was expensive Fire. Mm. that mm. old gag city shit shout out to the bars yo y'all show <laughs> nothing but love the niggas over there 
Y'all was fucking respectful outside of the pictures. Y'all was chatting up. Y'all love her, man. It's good to see fans just love who they love and it mm -hmm. just be that genuine, authentic shit. And she was him seeing up there. She was him seeing. She did that. Mm. She did that. Uh, Bobby Schmurter came out. Capella Gray came out. Okay. Capella Gray, one day we're going to talk about how you was talking when you came up here yeah. versus, versus what happened. There is a conversation that is... I had a good time. My story time. End of the day, I had a good time. Yo, nice. I bet you did. Nick, okay. Nikki, no, no, no. Okay. Hey, hey, Nikki. You had it, you guys. You heard everything that these guys had to say. And I think this is the experience that somebody, like anybody who has actually been to a Nicki Minaj, so this this is the experience that they will actually give you. And I find it very interesting that everybody who has, like, something negative to say about Nicki Minaj, they'll still go to Cake City. Do you get what I'm saying? That goes to show you that deep down, they do know that she's untouchable in as far as the artistry is concerned. Okay? Like, as I always say on this channel, I literally don't have an issue with someone saying, oh, I do not like Nicki Minaj's personality. I don't like Nicki Minaj's personal life. It's okay. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to have an opinion. But to lie to each other and try to convince each other that there's anyone touching Nicki Minaj in as far as female rap is concerned is absurd to me. Okay? And so, yeah, let me know, you guys, in the comment section what you think about Joe Biden and his co-host getting impressed by Nicki Minaj. Okay? And uh, this is what Joe Biden and also had to say before he actually went to Gex City. He was out there talking about, you know, the sold out tours and stuff like that. And shortly after, that's when he decided to go and attend Nicki Minaj's show. So listen to what, um, you know, Joe, Joe Biden also had to say before he pulled up, um, you know, to Gex City, Brooklyn. No, it's first. Okay. But I want to talk about Nicki Minaj first. Okay. Just because of all of these sold out shows at Prudential, MSG, and the Barclays. Yeah, Barclays. Queens. Uh, that's impressive. That's, that's different. Three arenas in the same mm -hmm. city, essentially. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't do that. That's crazy. In a short time frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Drake came up here and did the five shows in the garden yeah. or something nuts. Mm -hmm. Something nuts he mm -hmm. did. He did like a Killed week. It. Like, he was here for like a week and a half. Yeah. yeah. Multiple venues, and he did. He did he Barclays. Crazy. Too. He did Barclays. He did Barclays. Too. Yeah. yeah, but for Nikki to for, for Nikki to do that, for her to sell a million records in mm. five weeks, um, fifteen outfit changes during the fucking show, the audience for it to not be, you know, she get a lot of slack for flack for the barbs and these little young teeny boppers. Mm. It's adults at these shows. Yeah, there's sure. people yeah. that started with her in 08, 09, yeah. mixtape Nikki, and grew, stayed, they, grew yeah, with they her there. and stayed yeah. the yeah. entire time, and they out at the shows. Yeah, so you know, it's just a testament to what she's done, what she continues to do. I don't know if it's, this is a legacy act thing or just a, I don't know, but that, but Nicki Minaj should not should no longer speak to any any of her peers. Mm. They're not really her peers. Looking at the clips from the show, she shouldn't have words for no, no other woman in rap. Mm -hmm. They only her peers because she allowed them to be her peers in terms of competition. Like, she look, I'm still competing with y'all. Like, in terms of where we at on the charts. and, and But in totality... They ain't fucking with her. They're not her peers. It's, it's not a conversation no. if you really look at it in I totality. No. Yeah, There's no. no conversation. None to be had. I agree with that. There's nothing that any of them can say or do today. Like, y'all still trying to catch up to my old shit. Of today, of all time. Shit. I'm just saying, y'all can't do nothing. Yeah, you still, yeah. I'm still going. Yeah. See, the thing about a run, when you start comparing to somebody's run or something, that run got to stop. True. True. Mm -hmm. So still, if I'm still, still in my run, she's still running. She's nothing y'all can do. Like, y'all started years after me, and I'm still here, and I'm still. I'm still above. Yeah. yeah. Nothing something, we can talk about. Something else I want. Well, there you heard that, you guys. So, yeah, let me know, you guys, in the comment section what you think about this entire situation. If you've been to Gig City, how has been the experience? Do you agree with Joe Biden or do you not? Okay. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, still talking about Gig City, Brooklyn. It does seem like a lot of people really did pull out. Um, You know, it does seem like, uh, you know, Naomi Osaka also decided to come out and see Nicki Minaj. And this is the lady that you guys want to, ask, want to convince us that she's no 
longer irrelevant in the you know female rap streets it doesn't make any sense naomi osaka literally i uh, came to gig city was enjoying was having a great time was even vo- videoing and filming and what's very heartwarming to me about this entire situation is the fact that these celebrities that are actually coming out there are genuinely coming out because they genuinely do support Nicki Minaj and it takes a lot to come out to the public supporting a figure like Nicki Minaj because you know how the industry is dirty you know how sometimes you can actually get yourself under fire for messing with someone that the industry is trying to you know cancel someone you know that uh, the industry is actually trying to do away with so just for you know for that reason they can cancel and the fact that all these guys do not care about all that they just still do come out to support Nicki Minaj shows you how much of an in- impact she has had on people okay now it seems like that's not the only person also that uh, you know showed out showed up um, it seems like Lunas was also um, you know in attendance and of course that was received with mixed feelings by the Babs because people felt like you know what this guy has been disrespectful towards Nicki Minaj and a little bit shady before and so people really some people some Babs were not feeling Lunas are uh, being in attendance but then again that just goes to show you that no matter how these people may try and deny and play in Nicki Minaj's face they do know that she can actually do um you know perform they knew they know that she knows how to put on um you know a very good show and that's why they are still going there and some of them actually do still go there for inspiration and another surprise that uh, you know Nicki Minaj decided to give us was obviously having Bobby Schmerder performing that was absolutely impressive okay the fact that Bobby came out did his thing like that was a very nice surprise that nobody literally was prepared for um you know i saw the crowd literally get excited i saw everybody singing along to his songs and it was a very beautiful thing to watch as well and uh, we're also going to be talking about 50 cent well it seems like he's going to be a regular at gig city because he also stepped out again and um you know did perform with Nicki minaj that is absolutely uh you know beautiful so let me know you guys in the comment section how are you feeling about the tour do you feel the numbers that are actually um you know happen in as far as the tour is concerned literally her 18th sold out show okay and in celebration for that she actually decided to make a little video and i thought it was actually cute so i'm just going to quickly insert that video and you guys let me know on a scale of one to ten i rate this entire thing personally it's a 10 for me i felt like it was really cute she was looking cute and it's these are beautiful things to watch and i do hope that she does come up uh you know with an entire you know documentary or something uh footage for the show like literally putting it together into some film of, of, of some sort because i do feel like you know it's it will be interesting to actually see that okay leaves her 18th sold out show but just can't spell 18. Oh, my tippies. Oh, on my tippies. Go say in the banana dust on my tippies. Help me better men when I bite the dick. I still got the juice, bitch. I the city. This is how a bad bitch leaves her 18th sold out show. Bitch can't even spell 18. Boop. Hi, heel. Well, though, there you saw that, you guys. Um, now, moving on to the next thing that we are going to be talking about. We're actually going to be talking about uh, Nicki Minaj. It's also, oh my goodness, this is going to be Nicki, Nicki, Nicki. <laughs> Now it does seem like you guys she's going to be performing um you know at the same event that J. Cole is actually going to be performing. Um it's the Dreamville Festival La and uh, it's actually going to be aired uh you know on live and there's going to be J. Cole, there's going to be Nicki Minaj as well as Rema. And people keep saying, Imagine if Nicki were to perform with J. Cole on a song that would literally um you know be beautiful. And for those of you who would like to watch it, it's actually being 
Magazine reported that while the festival will be live streamed on the platform, um, you know, Prime Video and of course Twitch. So please do tune in if you would like to have an experience of that entire, um, you know, of that entire, um, you know, live performance. Because people feel like, well, they might perform Let Me Calm Down. And this would be epic if they do decide to do that. So let me know you guys in the comment section what you think about that. And uh, a quick update, a quick dad update. That's if you care. That's why I put it at the end. It's because I know some of you really do not care for this. So it does seem like Wannabe by the, the by the by Bongo 2. And of course, Cousin Sloth is out there reaching number one on iTunes. And I guess that's why she was doing all the drama she was doing with JT. It's because when she dropped her EP, no one was checking for an EP like that. And so I guess she decided to throw in a little bit of, you know, beefing with Glorilla just so people can remember that she actually does exist, which is very lame in my own opinion. I wonder what those girls talk about when they meet each other. Like, let's poke this person so that we can sell records. That would be a very corny group chat if we're going to be honest, because who does that? Like, literally, who does that? But anyway, you guys, let's see all, how all of this is going to, you know, is going to play out. OK, let's see how this is going to play out, because I do know that, you know, in the long run, um, God literally will see those who are genuine through. OK, um, there's nothing. Everything has got an end. You may be playing all these mind games and having this massive support and you, you know, trying to play with people's emotions and stuff like that. But one day it will surely catch up with you. So, yeah, let me know you guys in the comment section also what you think about that. Um, thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time that I post. And um, until my next one, see you.